What's up y'all, it's Crystal. So one of the big questions I get is about t-shirts, of course, and also journals. Like you wanna have a journal or a planner or something. And listen, they are still super, super in demand. And I did a video maybe a couple of years ago, maybe like three years ago, talking about journals, how to start yours and all of that good stuff. So I wanted to come back and update you, give you some of my vendors and give you some tips and tricks on how to best roll out your journal or your planner this year. All right. So this is one of our new prayer journals, Girl Puff God Purpose and Prayer Journal. This is our sermon notes book. We also have another journal on about money and all that, but I don't have it right now. And that's a long story. We'll be talking forever. So these all came from overseas, but there are some really great options for you to get them drop shipped or to not have to spend a whole lot of money up front if you just want to kind of see how it's going to work. All right. So if you are interested in creating your planner, your journal, all that good stuff, then stay tuned. All right, so the first thing that I want you to do is think about who your journal is going to be for, or maybe there is a problem or a need that you feel like is missing. So with both of these journals that I have here, my sermon notes one, I noticed that, um, you know, obviously everybody is in church and, you know, they're on their phones and they're trying to do their sermon notes. But I know for me, if I'm on my phone, I might slide over to Instagram. I might be texting somebody. I'm, I'm, I just get distracted, right? I, I have a distraction issue. I'm not going to diagnose myself, but I would just say that I knew that that is what I needed. So I created it for the person that was like me that needed something to take their sermon notes with. So back in the day before quarantine, the sermon notes journal used to say you need to stay off your phone in church or something like that. But this one does not because some people are still not in church. So I just wanted it to be nice and clean. And um, so, of course, it has a scripture. It has the sermon title, the scripture notes and how will I apply the sermons to my life this week. Just something for people to be able to go back on because you know how like if you go to church or if you watch any kind of message. Sunday, you pumped up. Monday, you may remember it. By Wednesday, you didn't cuss out five people. So I wanted it to be something where it was like, you remember what the sermon was about. You can go back and say like, this is how I went up by my life. You can legit go back and look at all of your, your sermon notes. So that is why I created this for the woman or the man who was like me and who really wanted to hold on to her sermon notes throughout the week. So think about like who your journal is going to serve. Is it going to solve a problem? Same thing with my prayer journal. I wanted a prayer journal and I could not find a prayer journal that gave me what I needed. So my prayer journal is power packed. All right. It's power packed. And I just included everything that I could think about that I needed. I don't know why I cannot even <laughs> move the pages. Scripture index, a lot of stuff in here. Um, so I created what I needed. So think about something that you feel like maybe is missing or something that you've seen or you liked that you think that you could put your own spin on and create that. This started off, I wish I still had it, it is somewhere in my house. This started off like this on a sheet of paper. I literally folded it up, I put a title and I went inside and I put what it, I wanted it to be. So don't get overwhelmed if you're like, oh my gosh, I can't, I don't know where to start. Just start literally writing something down and get a good outline on some paper so that you know like who this is going to serve. So that leads me into my next point, which we've already talked about. Think about like what you're going to include in here and go look at other journals and see like, okay, if I have uh, this many pages, I could do this, I could do it for this. So I want for you to think like, what is my journal gonna be about? What is the title gonna be? Um, do some research, see what people are already selling, make sure that you're not stepping on anybody's, you know, trademarked toe or anything like that. But just jot down your ideas, jot down like what you want it to be about and how long you want it to be and what all you wanna include in that and just start with something like this. So then I want for you to go and find a graphic designer, somebody that is going to be able to put a journal together for you. Now, this is important because there are some vendors, especially in um, when you start working overseas or you start using China, there are some specifics that you will need. So you need somebody that knows how to design a journal or um, planner or something like that, all right? 
So you definitely want to look on places like Fiverr, um, any place where there is like a design designer marketplace, just so somebody can put it together for you. And don't be afraid if you don't like it at first and you like, this is not really right. Uh, I don't really know. Give feedback. Um, because this is your work, this is your baby, and it's going to have your name on it. So make sure you do as much as you can and give as much feedback. For those of us who create products, sometimes we think other people know what it is that we want, but we have to be very specific so that they know this is exactly how I want my journal or planner to be. You can also check out, you know, Instagram hashtags are our best friends. So just hashtag some designers, see if you can find somebody that way. And um, I'm also going to leave, you know, some recommendations below just in case you are looking for a good designer. Also, make sure that when you are designing that you format your book correctly. All right. So that means this is an eight by 10, but the designer needs to know that so that the printer can print it properly. This is a six by nine. This is an eight by 10. So you want to make sure that you know that as well. How big do you want your journal to be? Um, I also did some research with different women. I'm like, what size would you like this to be? What size would you like this to be? This has been multiple different sizes. So sometimes it's just kind of a trial and error, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't, and just going with the best one. These have both been redesigned maybe two or three times each, if not more. So we like to update it every year. So you can do that or you can keep the same cover. It's nothing wrong with either way. So speaking of cover, I want to make sure that you are aware that the cover is everything. All right. You want the cover to stand out, to grab people. So make sure the colors are on point. Make sure it feels good and it flows with what is inside and all of that. So this one, like I said, has been redesigned. But either way, I love how sleek this is. It feels like, okay, Sarman. And the same with this one. It just feels kind of peaceful to me. So I'm like, when I get inside, I'm going to be praying and all that good stuff. So just think about, you know, a cover that is really going to speak to people because that is the first thing that they see. And it really is going to represent what is inside of your journal. Next thing you want to do once you have your design ready and you are good to go, you're feeling confident. It's exactly what you want. So the next thing that you want to do is find a printer. All right. So these came from overseas. I do want for you to go on Alibaba and look for journal planner. All of that asks as many questions as possible. Do not order a big, a big quantity of these without getting a sample first. Get a sample. It is going to cost you probably at least $200, but do not sell these until you get a sample. Our first samples looked ridiculous. OK, and it's like that no matter what and who you find on Alibaba, do not order a large quantity without getting a sample first. Now, if you are like, you know what, I really don't have that much to invest because it costs it costs some thousands for you to get these printed in this hardcover material from overseas. So if you are just looking for somebody here, I have a really great vendor that I have been using here in the States. They drop ship, which means that they will literally connect to your Shopify store. When you get one order, they will ship it out on your behalf. Um, I have not done hardcover with them, only softcover. But hey, it's a really great way for you to test it out, see if people are loving it. So I'm going to include their info below and, you know, give it a tea because I want to make sure that you get your planners out ASAP. So I don't want you to wait any longer. So check the info in the bio so that you can start using uh, one of the drop shippers. And listen, they are not the only company that does it. If you find somebody and they can print your stuff for you here, just because you start with soft cover or drop shipping does not mean you cannot take that money and then go get um, some hard cover later if you want. Or you may just say, you know what? Soft cover is better for me and my brand, and my business. And that may just work better for you. So the last thing that I want for you to do is to make sure Right. Once you get them printed, once you have at least one in your hand, if you have a sample, you need to go and show people what is inside. All right. The difference between this and let's say a shirt, I can sell a shirt with it just being on me. Right. Somebody see it. They're like, oh, that's cute. What's up? Where I get that from? A book is so much different. People want to know what is inside. They want to know how it's going to change their life. They want to know what it's going to do for them. So open up and show people. Right. Go through it. Go live on Instagram, do some reels, do some videos, let people know, show them you using it, show them the benefits, show them how it's going to be. 
If you can, let some of your friends use it. Get some testimonials from them. People want to know, like I'm investing in something. I want to know what result I'm going to get from it. So make sure that you get people to give you some testimonials. You yourself get in there, use it, show them how to use it, show them how to utilize whatever it is that you order. All right. And once you do that, people are going to be intrigued because they're going to be like, oh, I want to, I want to change my life. I want to do this too. So just build the hype up, get people excited. And it's just the best thing ever when you see your hard work. Literally my first time I got my book, I was crying. So I was on my video like crying. I was emotional. I was like, oh my God, I got books. When you see your hard work in hardcover at your door with your name on it. Is my name on this one? My name is on this. My name on there. When you see your name on there and you are just like, oh my gosh, my work. This is my work. It is the best feeling ever. So show people your work. Don't be afraid. Don't feel embarrassed. This is your work. You did this. All right. So I hope that this helps you. I am going to do another video about some of my favorite planner and journal ideas, just in case you're like, I'm kind of confused. What are the ones that are really going to sell? I'm going to do a video on that for you. If you have any questions about how to get started, um, first, make sure you check the bio, check the, the, the bio and all that to see what is down there and how it can help you. And then from there, leave me a comment. Give this video a thumbs up if you want more content to help you in your business. I am praying for your success, thinking about you, and um, you can do this. So please do not stand in your own way. There is nothing holding you back but you. All right, get started today. Go get some paper, write it down, and start creating your journal. You literally have no excuse. All right, love you, and I will see you in my next video.